When I step on the scene, y'all know me. Cause I walk with a limp like a old school pimp or a real OG. I'm rocking bands, I'm in the sand. I got a Red Bull and vodka up in my hand. Hey everyone. Okay, so today I am so excited because I just got my BH Cosmetics 120 color palette eyeshadow. It is the second edition and I am just so thrilled because I've been waiting for this for like a little over a month now. So I, when I saw it come in the mail, I was ecstatic. So this is what the first layer looks like. The colors are extremely gorgeous. Okay, I'm trying to get to the second layer. Layer, But the reason I'm bringing it up that I have it is because, like the title says, I am kind of doing a Taylor Swift inspired tutorial. Um, I've done one before, but no, it's not what it sounds like. On her hand, she's always got the number 13 written. And I just kind of wanted to give a little tutorial on showing how to do that. And in order to do that, we're using the eyeshadows, so that's why. So this is what the second layer looks like. Just as stunning. I just love these colors. They're just so bright and pop. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get going. So I've got quite a few eyeliners here that I'm using. And we're not doing this on our eyes. We're doing this on our hand. But you can do this for any body part, really. Um, and it's basically kind of like body drawing. It sounds a little weird, but it is. So I'm using this Clinique quick liner for eyes but we're not using it for eyes today and the reason I have these other colors is because if you want to get a little bit more creative like this one says eye style precise liner and it's denim so it's like a dark blue color that and this one it says curfew colors and this is really like electrifying blue it's just gorgeous and then this one is brown and it's soft coal Hey Jill Eyeliner Pencil um, by Rimmel London. And then this last one here is Style Flat and um, Pen. And this has, it's just this black with kind of like a silvery tint to it. Okay. Anyways, like I said, I'm using this. So it's really simple. All we're basically doing is writing the number on our hand. So. And it doesn't have to be a number. It can be anything for that matter. That was a really kind of sad too, and it looks really backwards in the in in the camera lens. But once I outline it, did I do it too backwards? No, I didn't. It looks backwards in the camera, like I said. But if you're facing it. It doesn't. Okay. So I'm kind of ashamed of my twos. I'm I'm drawing upside down, so you know, like, give me some credit. But they look really sad and just depressing. Like, they don't look a two to you. Like, even if it was right side up, that is not a two. I don't even know like what that is. That is just sad looking. So I'm gonna stop recording, I'm gonna redo my twos, but you get the idea of what I'm actually doing, and then I will continue to record. Okay, so my twos are looking very shabby and disappointing. Um, I know it looks backwards, like I said before, like a million times in the camera lens, but they actually face forward here. I don't know, my brain is just not operating today or something because, I don't know, these twos are just not turning out the way I want them to. But anyways, we can still continue on with the tutorial. So the reason I drew them in box form, okay, let's be clear. If I wasn't drawing them in box form, they look a lot better. But anyways, in the box form is to fill them in. That's where the color palette comes in. So you can pick your favorite color, and it doesn't have to be this palette. It can be any eyeshadow palette really will work. But I'm going to use this purple color right here. And I'm just going to take it, and then I'm just going to fill it in. With, with my, I take it with my finger, and then I'm just going to fill it in to it. Oh my gosh, the colors feel amazing. Okay. And then just... Alright, 
right, so that's what it looks like now. You can kind of see the purple. The lighting isn't very good in here, so sorry if you can't see it very well. But um, this is probably one of the simplest tutorials I've done since my Kesha hair tutorial. I mean, this is really something simple and easy. It's just, I don't know, I thought about it today when I was in history. Yes, I should have been focusing on history, but come on, knowing me, what am I not thinking about makeup? I'm thinking about makeup all the time, which isn't really maybe a good thing. But, I mean, it was just what I was thinking about, and I was just like, you know, I loved how Taylor Swift has the little 13 on her hand. That's I'm sorry, I'm, I keep looking down. I'm putting the palette back in. I just thought that was so cool. Oh, it's backwards. That makes sense. Sorry, but um, I just thought that was so cool. I was just, I don't know, I was fascinated by that, and it's not really something that's that big of a deal to be fascinated by. But anyways, if you want to add something cool to it, you know, you can just have fun, ex like experiment with the different eyeliners and colors that you have. This is a really something just fun and simple to do. Like, if you're going to one of her concerts, I know she's launching a tour soon. Has she already launched it? I'm pretty sure she has. Sorry, I'm outlining with this right now on my hand to show you just, you know, to have fun with it. But the bubble letters is a really big thing, or else it's just kind of like you could write the numbers on your hand with a pen. And that's not what we're going for. Like, see, you know, you probably can't see it because the lighting's really bad in here. But I def but like if you were in person, you definitely could see it. It's got kind of blue to it now. So I'm sorry that my twos turned out to be so sad looking. They really are. But you know, I did my best. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Please um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And watch some of my other videos. And I will be sure to post some more. In pictures in the sky. Sometimes we don't say a thing. Just listen to the crickets.